Good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit. I'm super grateful to be here. So glad that you chose this video. We're gonna do some nice relaxation for the upper body, for the shoulders. This might be really good for golfers. It could be good for anybody. And today we're gonna start off our class in standing position. So this is called Tadasana in the yoga world, but you know this position, standing up. And I want you to really think about how it feels to stand and feel like you are in some kind of really powerful place. So maybe you bring your feet hip width apart, just root and anchor down through all of the parts of your feet. You might even lift up your toes and then float them down. And imagine that you're energetically connecting to the floor. I forgot to introduce my special guest today. We've got Puppy Finn in the house, got Puka Dog in the house. And we've got a nice sunny day and hopefully you get a chance to get outside, maybe do some recreational stuff, maybe do some golfing. So in Tadasana, I really just want you to feel like you are this beautiful regal mountain. Stand with pride, stand with joy, stand with ease, and stand as though you feel like you're in your own body. What does that mean? I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it means that you know, when we're thinking about stuff that isn't going on in the now moment, often we become dissociated from our own body. It's like we're not living within our beautiful vehicle. So a thing that you can do that's really powerful is just put one hand on your belly and one hand on the top of your head. And we're just going to take a couple of moments to imagine that we're grounding ourselves into our own body. Take a few breaths. Maybe just imagine and sense and feel that your body and your breath and your mind are coming together as one. If you feel super grounded and rooted, awesome. This is just a way for you to feel this connection with yourself, with the earth, and just feel like you are at home. And you are your home. One more breath. Use your best visualization and imagination to create a connection with how it feels to be grounded in your body right now. Good. Then we're going to remove our hands and just for a moment, I want you to see if you can still feel where your hands were. And just notice that effect of what it might have the sensation of to be outside of your body and distracted and not grounded versus feeling super rooted into the earth. Think of a tree. And they say that as big as a tree is above the ground, often its root structure is as large underneath the ground. So I have this humongous, beautiful Gary Oak tree in our yard that we look at every day. And it's absolutely huge. It's 150 feet tall. Does its roots go right into the ground? Probably, that's super cool. All right, so wherever you are, let's step the feet about hip width apart. We're gonna start with a really simple exercise that's known as knocking at heaven's door. So you keep your arms super relaxed and you just start to swing your arms and rotate your spine from side to side. You can pick up a little bit of speed here. You can feel your body give your low back, your hands, I should say, give your low back a little whack, a little energy. And you might even feel the front arm give your stomach a little sensation. So the main thing that we want to do here is activate the low spine because it's such a gateway for our vitality and it's the area of the kidneys and it's also where we store fear and stress. So we really want to accentuate that we can activate our vital kidney centers and we release and let go of fear and anxiety. And they say that anxiety is a symptom of ascension. Good. Let's come back to center. Pause for a moment. Feel the rebound. Notice the sensation that you feel good and that you feel at ease all at the same time. And then we're going to do this really nice release for the neck. So let's start by bringing our hands together at the low back right here. And what you're going to do is make a simple neck circle. You're going to bring your chin to your chest and you're gently going to roll the head around and then back to center. 
When you go around back, don't make a very big circle. Just let the motion be bigger from side to side and the front. Let's do one more circle, nice and slow, and then you come back to center, your palms are facing down, and then you're gonna gently center your head the other way. Good, this should feel really, really nice. This is one of my favorite neck releases, but really just focusing on the front part of the circle. The back is just a small little motion. Last one around this way. Maybe you've accentuated your own inner smile, and maybe you've created your external smile. Good, let's release the hands now. Hey puppies, do you wanna come out of the sun a little bit more? So the next one we're gonna do, who, been here. The next one we're gonna do is really simple. We're gonna take our right hand behind our back, and we're gonna take our left arm in front, and we're just gonna do this gentle smoke, swaying motion from side to side. Again, you're gonna feel this release for your neck and shoulders. So inhale as you come to center and exhale as you make the twist. Inhale to center and exhale as you make the twist. Your back hand is facing up, your palm is facing out. And we can get a little bit more vigorous if you wanna come off of your toes a little bit so that you make the twist just a bit more deep. Let's do two more on each side. Again, maybe you're smiling and softening your face and just noticing what's going on in your neck and shoulders. Let's come back to center, let's release the arms and we'll do the other side. So we're gonna bring our left hand behind us, your right arm out in front, and again, you're gonna exhale over to the side and then inhale back to center and then go the other way. Inhaling back to the center point. See if you can slow things down. Notice our tendency to go really fast and just see how you feel today. Good. Opening up our shoulders, and here we can find that little variation if we want to come off of our toes and just twist a little bit more. Inhaling to center, exhaling to release. This is a Qigong move that helps you release your neck and shoulders, and I find it quite lovely. Excellent. Last two to each side. And then we come back to center. Very nice. Let's release that left arm down. We're going to keep our arms by our sides. We're going to open our fingers wide and we're going to float our arms just a little bit away from the body. This one's called spreading your feathers. And again, spread your fingers as much as you can and just open up your arms a little bit and breathe. Think about the golf game you're going to have. Think about whatever recreational activity you're gonna get up to, hopefully outdoors, maybe even just some gardening. Good. And then the last thing we'll do standing right now is to bring the hands together and you interlace your fingers and you're just gonna to start to make a little bit of a motion around your wrists. Good. So opening up the wrists and the fingers, this is super good for the golfers. And if you wanna get a little bit more into it, start to lift your elbows as well. This is our rooster spreads its wings. Get. And that could be enough for you today. Maybe you just need a little tiny bit of a neck and shoulder release. <sighs> and also just somebody smiling at you to remind you that you're loved, to keep breathing, drink some extra water today, and think good thoughts. Good, last one, each side. I'll be a chicken that spreads its wings. <laughs> All right, release your arms to your sides. Let's float down. We're gonna arrive on our seat today. So take a moment to bring yourself into a comfortable Sukhasana, which is just known as easy pose. I love easy pose because it's easy. It's said to bring a sense of ease. And sometimes we feel irritated or we have different emotions going on, anxiety, and the best thing we can do is remind ourselves that there is an infinite well of peace within us. So if you have a strap, that's super great. You don't need it. But today we're going to try something pretty special. We'll try the cow's face pose, Gomuk Asan. So what we're going to do is just start with a little bit of neck and shoulder release in the seated position. So we're going to float our right arm out in front of us 
and then across the front of the body and you just gently hold your elbow with your left hand. You can even let your fingers go onto your back and you can pat your back and you can play with this a little bit. You can lift and lower, see how it feels and breathe. Try to stay with a nice tall spine, that's super important. And then we're going to bring our right arm beside our head. So right beside your right ear. And again, your fingers on the left hand just tip in to that elbow. And you can open up a little bit more through the neck and shoulders. See how this feels. These are just a couple opening stretches that are going to help out with our cow's face pose. Good. Release down. And let's do the other side. So left arm floats out in front and then across your body. And then you're going to take your right hand into your elbow. So give yourself a nice stretch. You're going to feel that all the way from your shoulder down into your arm, into the elbow, even reaching out into the bicep and the fingers. And then we're going to gently, gently take that left arm and tip it back behind our head. And as much as it's comfortable, you're keeping your right fingers into the elbow and you're maybe even walking your fingers down your back just a slight bit. So see how this feels, it's a super big stretch. And if we feel like it, we can go a little bit deeper and get into cow's face pose. Good, release now with intention and control. If you have a strap, that's great. I didn't mention it at the beginning. Another thing you can use is a sweater sleeve or a towel. So what I'm gonna do is encourage you to put the strap or a long part of the towel into your right hand and then let the bottom of the strap drop. So if we're gonna go into full cow's face pose, we can make a little adjustment with the legs. So the strap is in your right hand. You're going to bring your left knee straight out in front of you. And if it's available, you pick up your right leg up and over. If this doesn't feel comfortable, then just stay in your cross-legged position. Then we lift up our right arm. We're gonna bend at the elbow and just let that strap dangle behind our back. Then we take our left arm and we float it in past the torso and then bend at the elbow. Some people are very flexible and their hands touch here, but doesn't it feel nice to just open up with this strap and pull in each direction? Good. Sit up nice and tall. Try to maintain that nice integrity of your spine. And we talked about the standing position being a power position. Also, your seated positions can be very powerful too. Notice the difference between being engaged here and kind of slouching and feeling all uh, like a puppet. <laughs> anyway, so this feels really good. We want to be in our own body. We want to find that strength. And then we gently, gently release that left hand. Bring your right arm up and over, and you can release the strap. So let's take a moment and switch the legs. Again, if you don't like how the legs part feels, just sit comfortably cross-legged. Let's bring the right knee down. Open up your left leg, and then your right knee is going to face straight forward. Puppy Finn is in the way slightly, but that's okay because he's such a nice helper. And he looks like a little tiger, and I love the reminder that the tiger is the animal that is showing us our inner strength, our inner power. So let's take our left leg and bring it up and over the right. With any amount of practice, you're eventually going to get your two knees stacked above each other. And I also like to have a block close by for a pose like this and just slip it under the left cheek here in case your cheeks aren't balanced on the floor. That's a really nice variation. Now we can bring the strap into our left hand. And again, let it sit in your thumb. Let the strap go behind your back. And then we're gonna reach that left arm up long. Thank you for the kisses on my foot, puppy in. All right, so now we bend that left elbow, bring your hand down to touch the top of the middle of your back, and then you bring your right arm in, and you're going to bring it past your center, and again, you're just gonna to start to reach that right hand up and take hold of the strap, and then you gently just pull in the opposite direction. 
So you can feel this nice opening between your shoulder blades and you breathe and you soften and you smile and you just notice your posture here. Make sure you're sitting upright. Take one more breath. Good. Cow space, Gomuk Asana. Sometimes they say saying the actual pose is really good for us. So release your right arm, release your left arm. Good. And then we're simply going to take the block away, release that left leg. Excellent. And then we're going to come with our legs straight out in front. So something I would really like to remind you guys of is how sweet it is to row your boat. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. The first position we take is called Dandasana. And Danda is your spine. So we want to imagine this beautiful walking stick that we have in life that's helping us navigate through all the stuff going on. And we want to sit so that we feel like our spine is like a tall, beautiful tree. It's like a tree trunk and it's extremely mighty and we don't see the roots of the tree. We don't see the leaves, but we see this beautiful trunk and that's our spine. Excellent. So then we think about bringing our arms out in front, make sure that little zipper that does up your whole middle line of the body is done up, and we're gonna imagine that we're rowing. This is one of my favorite songs. Start rowing with me, people, and if it feels like it, let's sing. So we do it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Two more. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Really listen to the words of that one. It's an important song. It's very good. Let's bring our hands back down. See how you're feeling. We want to do one thing that's super good for our hands right now. So come back into your easy pose. You lie down, please. So we're gonna take our right hand and I want you to take your left thumb and give the center of your thumb a little massage. This is called the femur eminence. Come here. And it's the big mound underneath your thumb. Sit. Good boy. Lie down and you're gonna massage it. You're gonna massage this part, ooh, this part of your thumb. The puppy doesn't want to stay with that and grab it. All right, so this actually is really good for the lungs. It's called lung 10. It's an acupressure point. You can also use your index finger to massage underneath the right big thumb. Go for it. Get in there. It might be painful. And this is going to be really good for helping you breathe, for helping take deep breaths, and for feeling super rooted and grounded. Come with me and sit. Good boy. So you give that about a minute of stimulation, maybe up to a minute and a half, and then we do the other side. So take your right hand, and I want you to press in, show me, in this area. You press in to the big thumb mound underneath your thumb, and it's called the Thenar Eminence. It's also called the Venus Mound, and it's super good for helping us breathe. And especially because of everything going on in life, we want to feel like we've, we're able to take nice deep breaths, especially when we're outside and we're playing in nature. So you just give it about a minute of stimulation. It's, if you want to know where it is, it's definitely right in the center of your big thumb mound, Venus mound, in our eminence. Good. Do you feel it? I feel it. Take one more deep breath and give yourself a little hand reflexology, acupressure, good. I love this. Clap your hands together, rub, 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 create a little bit of warmth and friction, see how this feels. And then I want you to just simply bring your hands 
to your shoulders. You're just gonna give yourself a little rub. Actually, just do one side first. And then do the other side. I wish you the best day ever. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy your next time out golfing or with anything that you need help with, with the upper back, neck and shoulders, and just a nice release today. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. We dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Please like this video. Please like Yoga with Nicole Spirit. Share if you feel for it. And I thank you so much for your time and energy. I greatly appreciate you. Mucho, mucho amor.